Hey, Dragon Con 2016, Crispy here. I've got Christy and Will with us. Guys, thank Hello. you for coming down to our little convention here in Atlanta. So, little? Jeez. Come on. This is yeah. like <laughs> Took big. like 10 minutes just to drive from one hotel to the other hotel. Not <laughs> it's only 10 feet. To, like, right, drive walk faster. Yeah. That was crazy. That's awesome, yeah. though. So, convention, it's just getting started, but what's some big stuff you guys are looking forward to this year? Not even like your panels. We could talk about your panels, but what's some just big stuff that you guys dig the, in the convention scene? Oh, in the convention scene yeah. in general. It's always fun to meet um, just new people that we've maybe circled around mm -hmm. uh, in the acting community, but okay. you never really got to meet them face to face. Uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun. Nice. The cosplay here yeah. is cosplay. amazing. Yeah. Um, and then I just found out that like one of my favorite authors in the world is going to be here. I've met him yeah. before, Brandon Sanderson. Yeah, I got Brandon. Nice. So yes. met him before, but um, can't wait to like maybe go and hear him. We're, we kind of we're kind of busy the whole time we're here. We're so kind of working. You hope to sneak away because I love yeah. to. hearing him speak and everything. So uh, I just love to yeah. buy things. Like if I get to yeah. have some really cute, and I'm pregnant, so gotta she's buying it. for two. I gotta yeah. get a onesie that's at least kind of quirky. I don't know what kind of onesie I should buy. What do you think? So, something that's Actually, nerdy. I'm sure there's like like a Doctor Who. One oh, there's or gotta be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. that would be cool. Yeah. So, awesome. so, so what's what's the your big fandom? And so you mentioned Brandon Sanderson. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you, what's your geekiness? Where, oh, where are your geekiness? mine should Come be on. Harry Potter. It I should be. Is it not? Know. Is that full geek? No, no, no. It definitely. Okay, is. all right. It's like <laughs> I'm like easy there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, a fa I'm a fantasy nerd. Fantasy so nerd? I love Brandon Sanderson, Robin right. Hobb, the whole you know, uh, 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 you know, David Lynn Edding, uh, Eddings, who started me when I was a little kid in the oh. Belgariad series. That kind oh, of wow, yes. threw me into the whole the whole world when I was little, and the choose your own adventure stuff. And then I'm I'm really big into like you know, animation and okay uh, things like that. So. Yeah, this, these are exciting places for, for me. So, so you mentioned like choose your own adventure. I mean, now like I feel like conventions end up kind of feeling that way, especially they do. in a few years. Like maybe I'll go here and flip to a page. Oh, a, a wild Klingon just showed up or, or something. Maybe That's the thing. Delta yeah. will actually get us to where we need to go. Or we'll have to <laughs> exactly. Three you layovers. successfully made it to yeah. your destination. Yeah. The problem is when you when you, the choose your own adventures when you would flip to the page and it would go you were killed. It's like oh, oh yeah. Uh, let's go back. Let's, let's go back and try that one more time. Time turners for everyone. Exactly. Here, so, yeah, bring that back. But no, I love to nerd out on this stuff. It's great. Yeah. I think so. you're in the and right it's fun place. To watch him nerd out. Yeah. Really? Like, like, how does he nerd out then? <laughs> like, what, like, what's the observation there? I don't even know half the names he just said. It's really <laughs> fun to hear him say. I that. also the just last convention I was yeah. telling her all about my my friends do a show called Critical Role. Yes. And so I've guest starred on that show a number of times. So I was explaining to her. She's like, wait, so you just you play? Du it's like, yeah, we play Dungeons and Dragons on. It's like, wait, what? It's like, yeah. yeah, we play Dungeons and Dragons on. So that kind of stuff. And uh, he didn't tell you that's what we're doing here. We've already rolled up characters for you and everything. I that would be I great. Will kill it. Let's do it. What would be? She would actually. Your Dungeons and Dragons character. Well, what do you think your character would be? Oh wow! Yeah, do they so have like um, fairies? Do yeah, they sure. Like yeah, the fairies, but that no like breathe fire. You could do that. Fire breathing fairy. I would be like a fire breathing fairy. That actually sounds really incredible. It's so, <laughs> sounds pretty great. I'm, I'm stealing, stealing that. that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, stealing that. Still that for a future game night. There. That's yeah. awesome. That's really cool. So, what kind of characters then uh, you do for the? You critical know, I, I've like noticed that. just with all of the the kind of battle royales and stuff we've been doing, tough to beat a cleric. Yeah, it really is. I mean, because if you've got the power to heal and the power to throw spells, it's pretty tough to defeat them. So okay. it's kind of cleric for life over here. Yeah, cleric for life. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I tend to go with your paladins and things like the that. The paladins are great too. Rogues are great. The world's I mean, rogues, rogues. Yeah. yeah, you can do. We're kind of geeking out now. Sorry, Chris. Sorry, it's okay. okay. I There's a dark Stranger rabbit hole. <laughs> She's like, Stranger 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 we will talk Things. about Stranger Things. We better not because <laughs> I haven't started it yet. So, so <gasps> the way it ends. Yeah, you're killing me. That's Take awesome. his nerd then, badge off. I know. Oh shit. Where were you last? That's my nerd badge. Thank you. I got so aggressive. We cut his mic off effectively. That's what you get for not watching Stranger Things. Oh shoot, is that good? Is this too close? <laughs> so what? So Stranger Things then? Did you binge that or did oh, you? Oh yeah, I binged yeah? it. Binged it go. so hard. Like, so did it you? Was it's so one of those things good. you just start and then accidentally eight hours later, or did you? I like did woke you set up out and was a it. better person for having watched it. That's pretty bold there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's how really I was good. with Mama's Family. What? <laughs> the old TV <laughs> show Mama's Family. Do you not remember Mama's Family? Yeah. yeah. I grew up with that, but yeah, I'm not a Southern boy. No. Okay. Oh no, it was not a really good television. <laughs> it was a program. terrible show, it was actually. Awful. But well, growing up in the South, it was everywhere. It was. It was. Yeah. It does feel that way. Was, it was now I'm imagining terrible. Mama's Family like reinvented for a television with Tyler Perry. So Tyler Perry's <laughs> Mama's Family. Should is get what on it would this be called. and nice. uh, take some royalties nice. from that. Yes. <laughs> when in Rome. Okay. Yes, or in Atlanta. I guess it's kind of it's the city that Tyler built. Is yeah, no nice. Says. Yeah, isn't it? Well, I saw that when I landed. It's a Tyler Perry's Atlanta. That, oh, is that really, that's our yeah. official. It's pretty, so pretty he amazing. franchised yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. And then we're just going to have you know Tyler Perry's San Diego, yeah. Tyler Perry's Chicago. Good for him, man. If you could be a brand. Oh, hell yes. Go I'm for it. A little jealous of that. Uh, so what's your then? So you've been Stranger Things. What's the yes. last thing that you benched? 
Uh, actually, last thing I binged, we just finished The Night Of. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The we Night finished Of. That too. Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know anything about that. You don't sell me. Sell me. HBO uh, show with uh, John Turturro. Yes. Yeah. I don't, I'm it's sorry. like Oz. I'm getting shunned now. Like, yeah, it is kind of I'll like I'll take Oz. my mic off. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It, it's, like it's got an Oz feel to it. Right and on. it's just you're yelling at the screen like, why are you doing that? It's like, one of those things like you just feel like when it's over, you're like, well, I'm in a dark place. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, with a lot of shows are like that. It's like Breaking Bad yeah. when you uh, finish that. So you like, mentioned that so a couple years ago before Dragon Con, usually before the weekend before I detox and not talk to people. Smart. Uh, I charge my uh, my introvert battery, and I was like, I haven't watched Breaking Bad. This is the weekend to watch Breaking Bad, and I watched four seasons of that in four days, and I never. Uh, no. no, no, that's the last time I do anything like that. To my it's all, it is. It's yeah. like it, it's psychically damaging. I was to yeah. do I, that. I was much. in a dark place. Yeah. And, uh, until we came into the interviews that year, and I'm like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that was an awkward story. Sorry. No, I totally <laughs> understand. the end? Did you watch the last I, four? It depends on which seasons they. I started are at one, so one through four, and yeah. then so I was able to watch Breaking Bad live when they did the last like ten episodes oh, okay. or something like okay. that. Got and, uh, and then I was able to catch up on them for that, which is weird because uh, usually I'm, yeah. I'm with TV phenomenon and things like that. But I somehow missed that show. There's just so we, much yeah. stuff out we there. We did too. We watch it. We my, my fiance and I always watch things when they get on DVD because okay. we're the, our Netflix is spotty at best. Oh, all right. So we live in the woods. So <laughs> we do. We we wait until it's done and then we go buy all the DVDs and then uh -huh. we'll sit there and it's like you know you so you're bit, lock yourself in the room and there you go and it, yeah yeah. Do but I do that with books and things too. I yeah wait, yeah. Wait till a good you know it's hard to Brandon really Sanderson unless it's completely out. Yeah, but that's. Tough though, because like Brandon Sanderson, like wait, the, the Stormlight Archive, which everybody's waiting for, yeah. is you know it's gonna be ten books long, so you're gonna be waiting fifteen years to get it all, and I can't because they're I've, so good. I've already been George R. R. Martin once in my life. I don't need to get stuck with another unfinished book series. Patrick Rothfuss. Rothfuss. Oh my gosh. So what, uh, that's gotta be really tough. To be dedicated to a, a story and then have it not end yeah. or eventually goes on. Well, that's kind of like that movie, The Lobster. Did anyone see that? I still haven't movie? seen what? that yet. What is I the really lobster? I'm not the lobster. Spoil heard of it. For you Go guys. watch a trailer. Colin Farrell, The Lobster. Okay. okay. Uh, it's all. It's a movie about finding true love. Okay. Uh, not I've about lobster. I'm really lobsters. excited to okay. find it. So, but you've all seen right. it. Yeah. And uh, now I'm really excited to watch it. Yeah. So, uh, you is guys it have good fun. or no? Maybe you can rent it. Yes. Is it good? On this Somewhere. Station no. In the hotel. Is it good? It, I mean, yes, it's, it's good until film. the end. And then the end is like, wah, wah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Nice. No spoiler. Well, that's spoilers, not a spoiler. Right? We're not spoiling no, the ending. That's no, okay. No. It just came out. Sled, as an ending. Yes. yes. Rosebud was a sled. Rosebud's not my father, though. No. It is an actual sled, which is awesome. So, lots of panels. Yeah. Uh, especially between you guys. Is there any particular panel you guys want to promote this weekend? I have Kim a Possible panel today. Gonna, oh, do, yeah, yeah. 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 I have I have Kim Possible today. panel is going to be fun. I no. think we have one. We have one every day. Oh yeah. So I think we're doing voiceover actors today, oh, and then, so then I'm we're doing a Guardians of the Galaxy one? panel, and then we're doing our Kim Possible panel. So the KP yeah. panel is separate. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's your standalone thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, going to yeah. be a lot of different yeah. uh, voiceover actors. Yeah. Do you know who else is in that one? I don't. Everyone. Is yeah. he in the KP one though? He's in the Kim Possible. Oh, that's great. We so don't usually there. we haven't seen him for a while. But yeah, because it's been great. a few years since that kind of uh, went, the, went that's through. That's gonna be right? a real yeah. reunion. So be, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll be, be awesome yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. So cool. Yeah. Well, before you guys get going, what we have here, this is our friend Randall. He has collected questions from the internet from our fans. Oh, fun. Okay. We're gonna ask you guys a random question. So feel free to draw a question here. Each of us. Yeah, one at a time. We'll okay. start with Christy. Go, go ahead. first. Dig on in. I'll take a pink one. What is your question? If there was an apocalypse, what daily convenience would you miss the most? Um, a good one. It's a valid question. Yeah, yes, it is. That is a good one. I'm trying to think of something Especially witty. Especially here in Atlanta. I'm trying to think of something <laughs> witty. Well, it just, no, don't think about witty. witty. Just have a good idea. Yeah, see, like, yeah. I think just running water. Running water? See, that um, first thing that went That's to my head would be showers. Yeah. yeah. I think I it's just running shower. water. Yeah. I would miss you taking a shower Thank as well. You. So, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I think it's only fair. So let's try it. Get a green one for okay, me. Okay. Get a green one. Like, Go for it. Mix it up there. Shake things up. All right. But make it green. Get a green one. Yay. All right. Please describe your perfect sandwich. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good it's one. A really solid. Question. Um, for me, it's tough to beat a perfect okay. meatball sandwich. The meatball, just a meatball. Finding turkey. one is tough. All right. And it, the perfect construction is tough. Or, or a cheesesteak. Oh, cheesesteak. I love steak. a good cheesesteak. How do you not? Do you do uh, mushrooms or no? Yes or no? I don't. Well, it depends. Sometimes right. I do. Do you do sauce or whiz? I, mean, uh, I, do, I, I do straight up like just cheese. I don't okay. do sauce. I don't do the right. sauce whiz. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. I'm not a Philly. Delphi, okay, I, I got you. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
I just, you got to earn this body, so you got to know sandwiches. I, I, I am right there with That's you. Different kind of sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. Mine yeah. usually like you a, have to like earn a this body too, guys. Yeah, nice. Different <laughs> type of earning. earning. Yeah. Earn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, excellent. Well, so we got running water and sandwiches. That was a fun time. So thank you guys so much for coming to Dragon Con. You guys are gonna have a blast with your KP panel awesome. and just a lot of thank you. cool costumes and things to see, guys. So yeah. thank you so much for coming. Thanks. And thank you, Dragon Con, for being here. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>